Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a 69-year-old male who injured the knee about five months ago. The pain has been progressive, and it's an example of what can happen if you don't get surgery on a meniscus. So just to go over what a meniscus is, is in the first place, this is the lateral meniscus, this little black wedge over here. This is a shock absorber, a cushion here between the femur and the tibia down below, and it makes a larger surface area, distributes the stress better over here. So this will prevent arthritis and give stability. And when you lose a meniscus or it tears, sometimes it's not a big deal, but sometimes it can be progressive. The meniscus will degenerate further or just doesn't do its job. And when it's not doing its job, the stress is not um, distributed as nicely and you can get secondary degenerative arthropathy. And this is sort of a bad example of what can happen um, if you don't get surgery. If you do get surgery, they go in there and trim the meniscus, or sometimes they have to remove big parts of it, and you can still get arthritis if they have to remove a lot. But overall, patients do a lot better when they have the surgery. They remove fragments that are flipping around in there. They smooth out the articular surfaces, and it can help significantly. And so this is an example of a patient who did not have surgery and the potential downside of that. So here we go. This is the medial side, the medial femoral condyle, tibia. We see the joint is really narrowed over here. And the meniscus, we don't see it here. It's part of it's over here. It's been pseudo-extruded or squirted outwards, and it, the fragment goes down. And because it's not doing its job, there's secondary degenerative arthropathy. This is a view where fluid is bright. So we can see reactive meridema, granulation tissue, here being foggy bright in the femur and we can see the articular cartilage we should see a thin rind of a gray signal covering the articular surface that's the cartilage that thin band and over here the cartilage is completely absent we see fluid which is white and just bare um, bone underneath it and the bone is even jagged and irregular with marrow edema so this glob here is part of that meniscus it's been torn and flipped outwards and the cartilage has worn down, the joint has been narrowed, and there's spurring developing, and now there's marrow edema. After a while, this can go on to even collapse sometimes if there's too much stress. And so this is, again, just a bad example of what can happen um, if uh, surgery is not performed, or sometimes if they remove the entire meniscus, um, you can still get findings like this. And that's it. Thank you so much.